some of these bits are a little bit painful to walk on. Let's try not to step in water because it's cold. But I think I have to to get across. If you're DIYing it, just put Pamukale Town Entrance into Google Maps. Hi travellers, I'm Hans Daughter Laleo. So it opens at 8 during this wintry season. It's about 9 o'clock. It costs 200 to get in and you can see behind me there's a little security. I have to take my shoes and socks off when I get to the white part. Also I have no idea how warm or cold it is. At this point I'm recommending that you stay overnight like I did. Bring something to put your shoes in. So it's quite hard, quite windy up here. Oh my god it's freezing. Because it is chilly. Does it look like the pictures? Eh. Sort of like a hard coral, almost. There are also dried out pools as well, like this one. Uh, I swear it still looks like snow to me, even up close. That's what's so remarkable. Oh my god, it's cold! <laughs> okay, so just be aware it is a bit slippery. And obviously now that my feet are wet, begrudgingly, because <laughs> it's so cold. Is there a pool up here? Oh, there's a pool. There's literally just one here. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> literally freezing cold. <laughs> but it's pretty remarkable to have this to myself. that's kind of smooth is okay. There are lots of bits that are really hard to walk on and of course with the cold water as well it's a fairly unpleasant experience. <laughs> okay this bit's not too bad. I found a warm bit. Just for example this is not bad to walk on. That's not great. <laughs> oh no there's two people coming. Here's an example of another dead one. So it's definitely worth coming early, definitely worth staying overnight so that you can come early, definitely worth coming in the off season, even though it's cold. But basically you just walk from there and then I think here is the top where you put your shoes back on again. Okay, this one isn't bad at the top, right at the top. warm enough to go somewhere that's not freezing so we walk from the chair to some ruins of Heropolis let's go and have a look oh maybe this is where some tour groups come in Maybe they go from the top down. Oh, okay, this is why it pays to come early. Apparently in like the 60s or 70s or something, there's like a hotel somewhere actually on built on these. Maybe it was here because it's kind of flat-ish. Obviously that's why it's not completely ruined. Plenty of nice picnic spots, so honestly I would bring a backpack, pack some lunch, because there's actually like lovely views and there's plenty of ruins to go around. So yeah, this is another part where you can see this cotton castle. It is actually quite big when you get up here. In terms of what did I bring, I read somewhere that you should wear your togs, which I actually have. Oh, I've got a t-shirt down here because I didn't know how warm it was going to be. I actually have got them on underneath because it's a one piece and my little bag here. There are slippery bits so it would be better to bring a little bag. I, think I bought a plastic bag to put my shoes in even within this bag because I've got other stuff in here that I don't particularly want my shoes to be touching and 
depending on what even shoes you're wearing, obviously at different times of the year. <laughs> I realize I'm wearing yellow. Oh my god, let me cover up more. <laughs> Jesus, it was terrifying. So it's actually quite cold in winter. It's the wind. It is the wind up here. If you are going to do a bit of walking at the top here around Europolis, you know they love their cobblestones. So I can't really imagine coming in summer with my jandal. As you're walking around all these ruins, because they're not actually that close to each other. <laughs> yeah, bring some food, bring drinks. I'm sure in summer this is awful and you probably wouldn't want to walk this far because is it, is it? you can see how far I've actually walked <laughs> and it's completely exposed. So in that heat, bring sunscreen and a hat. that have survived thousands of years. So the things that have been rebuilt is apparently there's some rule, I don't know if it's an archaeological rule or if it's a Turkish thing, where you can reconstruct it if 80% of the original can be found. But at least I'm now in the town. I can grab something to eat and then get on my merry way. It's a little bit slippy coming down. It's a lot easier going up. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> 